funny and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we are drinking more drinks. I don't know why I've been on a drinking kick for the past month and a half reviewing various drinking products. We had those weird 3D printed drinks, we did Soda Stream, and now we're gonna go a little bit healthier today by drinking water for once in our lives. It's sort of like flavored water that I think possibly contain sugar. So how much of a uh, health kick is this? I don't know. Also, it's summer and you guys know what that means. I'm an elf now. Today, we're going to be looking at a very expensive, kind of crazy water bottle. The starter kit for this, for the water bottle and a couple of these flavor pods was $119. Now, I guess that's not exorbitantly expensive for the smart water bottle world because a while ago I got my mom another smart water bottle called Hydrate Spark. It doesn't inject flavors or anything into the water, but similar to this bottle, it has an app and you hook the bottle up to the app and it keeps track of how much water that you need to drink a day. And I know that the Hydrate Spark glows to remind you when you need to drink water, which I guess is, I don't know. Do you guys think that that's silly or not? Mom overall has said it's been helpful for her to promulgate her to drink more water. Now, I'm not sure if a flashing light would be enough to convince me. Now, maybe if they made it make some sort of like crying sound. Have you guys seen that absolutely torturous ad lately? where it's like some sort of video game with a fish. The fish looks like Nemo and it makes the saddest whimpering crying sounds. See now if you gave me a water bottle that cried if I didn't drink out of it enough I would totally do it. Nothing pulls at my heartstrings quite like tearful inanimate objects. Open it up you get this fancy water bottle. You have these couple of compartments in here. One says charge, one says clean. Pretty standard charging cable and right now it's flashing. A glowing red. It looks like some sort of angry Sith water bottle. And two is clean because they give you this special little brush that fits inside these pods here and helps you clean this motorized portion up top. Also, you uh, get these flavor pods. So that's really what sets this product apart from other water bottles and other smart water bottles. You load these pods into the bottom of the water bottle and then you can cycle through and it will inject flavor into your bottle. This is like a very health oriented, health minded company. Each of these pods, they not only have flavors, but they're also supposed to do something for you. So for example, we have the flavors orange tangerine today, which uh, is supposed to help you with immunity. It has vitamin C and zinc. We also have blackberry lime, which has antioxidants with vitamins A, C and E and grapefruit extract. We have cranberry raspberry, which is supposed to give you electrolytes with vitamins B and C, sodium and potassium. Is sodium not salt? And then lastly, we have kiwi strawberry lemonade, which says electrolytes plus B and C vitamins, and once again, sodium and potassium. And I think that there are other, they have like a ton of different flavors. We'll just go ahead and scroll through them in the side. Now, there are two things right off the bat that I think are a little bit gimmicky with this product. A is something that I'm sure I just didn't notice because every website now has this big ass page of terms and services, which I'm sure if you're anything like me, you don't really want to read like five pages of information, terms and services just to buy a freaking water bottle somewhere buried in the checkout process slash terms of service. When you make the initial purchase of this product, they sign you up for a subscription service. They charged my credit card again and sent me a re-up of the exact same three flavors that I ordered the first time, which I 
don't really like stuff like that. I think that it's kind of sneaky and it's basically like charging you around like $32 that probably aren't really aware that you're signing up for. I don't know. We'll, we'll assign 50-50 blame. I just think that they should very clearly be like, hey, do you want to sign up for an automatic subscription service? Because like, why would I want the same three flavors necessarily? Like, why wouldn't I want to pick out different flavors, you know? Uh, so not crazy about that. Luckily, I did catch it like before they were about to bill me for the third time. I canceled it. The other thing right off the bat that I think is a little sneaky that I'm not that like fond of is the expiration of these products seems to be like lightning fast. And they sent me, like I said, the re-up of the subscription on April 22nd. I just opened the envelope and all the ones that they sent me on April 22nd, I received expired in May. What if you just wanted to drink water out of this one day and you didn't want to just like squirt all the flavoring in it? I only actually have one bottle of this stuff in front of me that is not expired. The longest expiration date is like June 30th, but technically every other flavor that I'm trying today is expired already. Needless to say, this stuff does not have a long shelf life at all. Hopefully it's not gonna cause me to vom, but I'm $120 into this, so we're gonna do it. This is what the app looks like right now. It says awaiting fuel pods and I need to add water. So they recommend to me for my weight and height, which is something you put in when you are setting up you know, the app for the first time. They calculate and tell you how many bottles of water you should be drinking a day. Does four bottles this size, does that look like on par? That would be a lot of water for me to intake in one day, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if I drink one bottle of water a day, I'm like super proud of myself. Also, I'm gonna say the pods on a whole need improvement. They're also sticky. Pretty much every single one I've opened, if you guys can see around the cap, it's like leaking up in there, which I don't know how big of a deal it is for you guys, stuff like this. I'm part of the like no seal, no deal cult. I like all of my food and drink products to have a really secure seal. I don't want the bottle to be like sticky and leaking when I receive it. There's like a bunch of like dark brown dried stuff at the bottom. And this one, which I had the most faith in, because it's technically the only one that hasn't expired yet, kind of looks the nastiest on the inside. It's like cloudy in there. I don't know. Like I'm shaking it up and it seems to be better now, but this one is still like super sticky. So, you know, I mean, if you're about to like dump $120 on some freaking flavor pods and a bottle of water, I think you guys should know exactly what you're getting into. So let me pick which three tasty expired flavors we're gonna get into today. I think I'm gonna load up cranberry raspberry. Oh yeah, that doesn't even like click or anything when I remove the cap and there's already product like welling up on the top there. Do not like. I don't like that. I'm not crazy about that. Let's try kiwi strawberry. You know what? Maybe I should like be shaking these up. They say to consume within 30 days of opening. Hopefully you guys will be able to see once I lift the glass off. Let's load up cranberry raspberry first. And you're supposed to just turn it. <gasps> oh my God, it turned pink. So you push it in and turn it until it clicks and basically locks in place. And oh my gosh, look, okay, now it's showing me on the app that cranberry raspberry is loaded. It also tells me that I have 15 times that I can press the button. Strawberry, kiwi lemonade. Did that shine a different color? And then this is the last one, which is blackberry lime. So I think that that would glow a different, ooh, that one glowed blue. All of them are now loaded in the app here. And then you, of course, put that case on there, which I mean, I will admit that looks pretty slick. Is it $120 slick? I don't know. 30 minutes into this process and we finally get to test the water bottles. Let's push the button on the front. You can just do these quick little presses. I'm cycling through the flavors. So the first one, 
Oh, they are three distinctive colors. So the first one is like kind of a reddish pink, then we have like a purple, and then we have like a bright pink. So I don't remember which flavor is which. Ew. Okay. Did it just dispense something? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Didn't take down any of the, I don't know if we call these like doses or what, but it acted like it did something. So I am confusion. Okay, let's uh press that again and see. Okay, I'm trying to get the first flavor. Okay. <laughs> We didn't see it do anything. Okay, it did take a dose out of the kiwi strawberry. You can see when I last dispensed and what flavor. I don't know, I'm kind of sad because I was ready to see like a, like a swirl of color enter the drink. I thought I was about to be super impressed, but the water looks the same. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the cap and take a sniff. It smells like nothing. It does not smell like the explosion of flavor that I thought we were gonna happen with like, pff, like I thought we were gonna be able to see the bottle whoosh. It basically looks like pee, pee in a cup. Let's take a sip now. This was meant to be kiwi strawberry lemonade. Maybe it mostly tastes like kiwi. I don't taste any lemonade and I don't taste any strawberry. It's like, kind of a weird taste. It's like one of those tastes where like, yeah, it tastes like vaguely like fruit, but I cannot really pick out a distinctive fruit. There's no lemonade in this, 0% lemonade. I can actually like click through the app and click on that. So this is supposed to have the ability to help hydrate you after intense activity, like sitting on my ass and crimping my hair for the last two hours. It has fully loaded potassium, sodium, and B vitamins, also electrolytes. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's kind of cool. Like, I guess if I wanted to dispense this flavor again, you can swipe this down here to dispense the flavor, as well as push the button. And then there's three flavor settings. So you can choose light, standard, or strong. Kinda has more of like those like kind of fakey, fakey flavors. And it tastes like, you know, if a vitamin is trying to disguise itself as something delicious. What I'm gonna do this time is try and swipe on the phone and dispense the next flavor like that and see if it's any easier than like pushing a button, which shouldn't be that hard. But I don't know, you guys, it just did not want to dispense for me last time. I'm hoping we're gonna see a magical injection of flavor this time. We're gonna go with blackberry lime. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say swipe to dispense. It's gonna dispense standard amount of flavoring. <gasps> oh my God, okay. I could kind of see something, you see something like floating at the bottom here? Does just look like the flavor is like drifting still at the bottom there. It injects the flavor up, but I don't feel like that's enough to really fully mix it. And it did give me fake credit. It's gonna think I drank all this water cause I'm pouring it out of the bottle. I'm lying to the algorithm. All right, you guys, this one, which is once again, blackberry lime. I like the flavor of this a lot more. Obviously that's like super subjective. This one tastes more natural to me, maybe even on the cusp of tart a little bit, which I normally like like bitter and tart flavors a lot more than like sweet flavors, especially when it's like a healthy thing. Like I don't want it to just be like super like fakey, fakey sweet, which we've talked about that in a bunch of videos. Like that's the same reason why I hate like diet soda. I don't like that like super fake sweet kind of flavor. This one I could see myself drinking again. This tastes more like healthy, more watery to me. Now would I wanna spend like $120 or even $12 to like refuel this flavor? I don't know about that. It's almost like they should have teamed up with Kool-Aid. And if I could like inject Kool-Aid into my water, then I would probably be a much bigger fan. It's like I can taste the blackberry flavor, but I don't taste any lime. So I don't know. I think that this concept so far is really interesting, but I think the pods, like 
for multiple, multiple reasons, probably need like a lot of work. So I'm actually gonna see if I can take this little box here and stack this up. So hopefully we can see, zoom you guys in. The actual important part. Flavor Injection Town. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the app. I actually like that a lot better than pushing and like cycling through all the buttons. So the last thing that we're gonna test is cranberry, raspberry. Once again, I'm gonna leave it with the standard flavors and I'm gonna swipe to dispense. guys my bottle is just sad it definitely did dispense it says it's down to 14 now versus 15 but it's just not like shooting it in there it's just dispensing and then like basically laying on the bottom surface layer panel down there if that makes any sense it's kind of impressive that you can just squirt flavors back to back and the flavors don't really seem to be like mixing with the last flavor that I had in here, which is great because who would want to like wash the water bottle multiple times a day? Also, I think that I saw in the setup video or something, maybe when I ordered it on the website, that they also say that you can of course like mix the flavors together. So if you want like one pump of raspberry, one pump of blackberry, you can of course like do whatever the hell you want. Why is the freaking cranberry one also this pee, -pee yellow color? That's not a good color. Oh, I don't like that. I don't know. It's almost like I can understand why they wouldn't put any dyes into the product because like I said, it is like a health, healthy driven vitamin-y kind of product. But to me, like cranberries are naturally red. So why wouldn't it be kind of like red color? I swear this is the same color as the first one I tried. <sighs> now I think I like this one best. Once again, same as the last one I just said, it is much more natural than the kiwi, strawberry, whatever. It is also like more tart, not sweet at all. Tastes very cranberry. Once again, it's like all these flavors. I don't know if they're just like naming a bunch of stuff like orange, tangerine, rhubarb, star fruit, but you really are only tasting the first. Oh my God, it's always the first thing. The first one was kiwi, strawberry, lemonade. I thought the strongest flavor was kiwi. The next one was blackberry lime. I thought the strongest flavor was blackberry. And then the last one is cranberry raspberry. And I really only taste like a cranberry flavor. I would repurchase the blackberry and cranberry one, but not the kiwi one. And I probably should stop drinking these because technically they're expired. But needless to say, I do keep grabbing the cranberry cup. And usually if I'm just like compulsively grabbing and drinking out of something, it means that I actually like it. I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I feel like I really did honestly enjoy two out of the three flavors. They have a lot of flavors to choose from, but there just are like a lot of cons for me. Like I think with such fanciness, like I wish you didn't have to like shake it afterward. Like I, what is the point of that at that point? Like you can just put drops of crystal light or whatever and shake a bottle up yourself. Like I kind of did think the point was you push a button and it injects the flavor and that's kind of like mixed enough, like, right? Probably more than anything, more than even the flavors and stuff, I would use this to hopefully promulgate me to drink more water, fill it up during the day, try and drink it, use the app to keep track of how much water I am drinking. Um, I know a lot of these like healthy measuring water bottle things like hydrate, spark and stuff. You can also sync it up with your Fitbit, which right now, now I'm wearing an invisible Fitbit down here, but that would be cool if I could like sync this app with the Fitbit app and like work in tandem to become a healthier person. So yeah, I would probably use it more for that than I would for the flavors. Also, I just think like a subscription service is like kind of overdoing it. They say each of these flavor pods is 30 servings, I think, or they said up to 30 servings, which would make sense if you put it on the weakest flavor setting, you would get double the 15 doses, 15 servings. So that's a lot, that's a lot of flavor. If you in essence have like 90 flavor dispersions down here and it's meant to last a month or you're supposed to drink it within 30 days, like that's a lot of flavor and vitamins being injected into your water. I, 
very fancy love the aesthetic of it i think it's all like really interesting like i'm a sucker for stuff like this like technological health fitnessy kind of stuff but i think the flavors and the pods could use a lot of work you guys have to let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions like i said it does have a pretty hefty price tag what do you guys think about having to shake it yourself the whole subscription thing i am uh, anxiously awaiting you guys' thoughts and opinions down below if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings i love you guys so so much and i will see you all again very very soon bye